In this video I'm going to talk about lists in Zen. So lists are basically a container for multiple values, uh, like an array, and they're created with the list function, where I just pass in a bunch of values and it gives me a list of them. I can also use a different function, which is just a single quote, I guess, and then all my values. This is kind of a throwback to Lisp notation. Uh, I will add that right now the language does not support lists with brackets, as one may be used to, like in JavaScript or Python or most other languages, but that's a feature that's coming soon. So right now this gives me an error, but it should work pretty soon. So I can actually create lists within lists, like a list can hold any data type, including itself. So here's an empty list within a list. Here's four, here's five, here's four to five. This list can be as long as I want, and it can contain any data type I want. In this language, it's possible to do arithmetic on lists. For example, if I have this list of the numbers one, two, and three, and I want to add four to all of them, all I have to do is just add four to this list and it'll apply that operation to all of them. You can do that with division, uh, subtraction, any sort of operation really. Another thing that lists can do is perform element-wise operations. So what I mean by that is if I have two lists, one is one, two, three, and one is two, three, four, and I subtract them, that'll take one minus two, two minus three, and three minus four, and it'll give me a list of those values, which is all negative ones. This same property also applies to the built-in Zen operators, such as the colon operator for creating ratios. So here I'm actually going to create three ratios, one to two, two to three, and three to four. Another example of operators applying to every element in the list is let's say I have this list of 400, 500, and 600. These are all numbers. I can convert those all to Hertz by just putting Hertz after the list. And similarly, I can convert those all to cents by putting a C after the list. And I can convert those all to ETs by putting a hash before it. Or by putting a hash after it and putting whatever base I want it to be. That's about it for lists. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about more built-in functions.